up YouTube? It's Leak Auto Repair here, working on a 2012 Honda Civic EX. What you just saw a few seconds ago was just me. I'm just testing out with the alternator, its output voltage, and as you can see, it was undercharging here. Customer was coming in here complaining about how he had a hard time starting, so I already verified the problem. I will be placed. <laughs> sorry, I will be replacing this alternator right here with a new one. And in this video, I'm just showing you guys how to remove and install an alternator. Okay, so first step, first thing to do is you want to disconnect the negative cable. 10 millimeter wrench. Put this off to the side. Don't put it on anything with metal or it'll reground again. So that's good. Keep that just like that. Next, since you already have access to the alternator, we just want to go ahead and just start, you know, disconnect the uh, connectors off of it. This one right here. It's a pain in the ass. Get this one off. This. So those three. Those off now. Put your connectors. Just, just tuck it somewhere. Next, this is what I like to do. Before you take the belts off, because you never know how the belt go exactly, they are a pain in the ass to put on if you don't know what you're doing. So just go ahead and look at every single pulley. Look at the crankshaft belt tensioner, everything you see. Basically what I want you to do is draw a diagram of the belt, of like what it looks like, and it's supposed to look like this. So while well, your diagram should look like this, it looks sloppy as shit, but you can tell what it is pretty much. So put that aside, place where you can find it at. One grab ye. 19 millimeter long ratchet wrench or a they have a special tool for removing belts you use that so i'm gonna put it on there like that and as you push you gotta push up hard and see the slack coming back off the belt and just pop it off with your hand now don't take the belt out all the way unless you're actually replacing the belt but we're just gonna leave it just like that to make the installation a lot easier Next, we're going to figure out how many bolts we have to remove to get the alternator out. Now, I got this alternator, ProStar from Pep Boys. It's a cheap brand, but it gets the job done. All right, so as you can see, just moving it around, looking at everything. So as you can see, one bolt right there and a the second one right there. So I only have two bolts to remove. So this removal and installation is going to be pretty easy. Okay, so far I found one bolt. Right there, the light is too shiny, but um, get my finger so you can see better. This one right here is held in by a 12 millimeter bolt. So grab a 12 millimeter, uh, and get a short extension with the ratchet and the uh, 12 millimeter socket and just remove that. Second bolt is uh, right down in there. You can't see it, I can, but just take your fingers and feel all around it. You, uh, you'll see it. Let's see if we can see it from this angle. Uh, kind of right there. I'm moving the light at. So they're both the same size. So just go ahead, take your tools, remove it off. Okay. Now I got my ratchet, 3 8 ratchet. It's a long one. Now I did say use an extension. Looks like for that top bolt right there, it'd be hard to get the extension in there with the socket. So I have a D12 and I'm just going to put it on. Back it off, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So I'm going to turn left, so I'm pushing that way. So, got that. Broke the bolt free. Put my ratchet back on. Put this 
too loose, you can take it off by hand. Uh oh, I gotta get that. Twist it off by hand. If it makes your life easier and it will make the job a lot faster, you can use an electric, uh, air, electric ratchet or air ratchet. I'm using hand tools. I don't really feel like hearing the pressure compressor going off right now. This is where you can find it. Put my shit up here. So the second bolt I'm on there, make sure you're on there flush. You might gotta move uh, the butt off the water pump just to get the socket on because that's in the way. It'll make you go on crooked and then you'll strip it. So I'm just... Got it free. Now I should be able to get it by hand since it's loose. Just put my finger down there. I feel for it. Oh, I got it. This one's loose as hell. last thing I want to do is uh, these two 10 millimeter bolts right here. One, two, and the second one right there. Just take a 10 millimeter ratchet. Just get that off. Both of them. Got that off. Oh, I do have one more thing to get off this connector. It's a tab under here. Um, just press up on it. Slide it off. Get that out of the way. So now I got everything off the alternator. So next, the alternator you make a lift up on it, you probably can't, but let's see. In this case, I can't, so I'm just going to grab a pry bar and I'm just going to pry in between here. Oh, now one more thing in a way. See this right here? 10 millimeter bolt. Here's some bolts at. Got that all off. I'm ready to come out now. Oh. That's how you remove an alternator. Before you put your alternator in, I know I already checked it, just thoroughly checked it, make sure it matches up, make sure it's right. Pay attention to the labels and instructions they put on parts like this one. What does it say here? It says stop. We have factory trained SC certified technicians who are waiting to help. I don't need them. I am ASC certified, so fuck you. So put that right there. Now I'm ready to go in. Going back in right now. Mind you, I'm doing this whole job with one hand. Some people would be struggling with two hands to do jobs like this. Talk about talent and multitasking. Now, got that in. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my bolt, the long one. I'm just gonna line this so I wanna mount it up properly. So just put the top one in first before you put the second one in. And got the bolt in. Might be a pain in the ass to get it in because this whole thing has a lot of play in it. So while you're putting the bolt in, just wiggly alt, wiggle the alternator around while you're screwing at the same time. Should have some success. And next, we're going to get the second one in. Second bolt goes in the same way. Just fill for the hole. Fill around the housing, the alternator. So both of our men, just go ahead and tighten them. And when they stop, do a quarter inch turn like this. For the top. That's it. Next, I'm gonna get this bracket back on the one I took off. Put your 10 millimeter bolt in there, and those two that went right here for this bracket also. Now, got my bolt on for this bracket, those two for this bracket. Now, this connector right here. It's mounted in place with another bracket that I forgot to take off. This alternator right here. So just go ahead and remove that and put it on. 
Next, uh, got this on. So I'm gonna get the belt back on. I left the belt back in place so it should be easy for me to put on. Just gotta line everything back up on the groove. You need two hands for this. Now I will be doing a separate video on how to, to remove serpentine belts. So I have to cut it off right here. And just give me a second. Got my belt back on. And like I said, I'm going to be doing another video, but to get it back on, it was pretty easy because I didn't take, uh, you know, the whole thing out. I just moved it out the way while the other pulleys and, you know, water pump and alternator, a, I mean, AC compressor was still, had the belt looped around it. So now, I'm going to take my wire connectors. I'm just going to connect everything back up. Let's start with this one first. Take a 10 millimeter socket, screw that. I'm gonna bolt that down. Put your connector on, and then that one back there. Connect this battery cable. Tighten it down real good. Not tight as hell, but as soon as it stops, just quarter inch turn, and that's it. Now I'm going to go in the car and I'm um, just going to crank the motor a few times, not all the way on, but it's like a fraction of a second. Turn it back off. I just want to line the belts back up to make sure the belts don't pop back off. So let me turn this off. So just like this. And the belt should be lined up already. So just. Now, I want to check the alternator. I want to see if it's uh, charging the battery properly. So you get the alternator in, make sure you check everything. Check the output voltage, make sure it's playing out right. This one looks good. And uh, note real quick, sometimes um, when you get rebuilt alternators, almost everyone rebuilt alternators. It's kind of, almost kind of hard to get a new one without spending too much money. But uh, these rebuilt alternators, sometimes they like to make the battery light come on. Sometimes the bearings are shot in the alternator, give you that whine sound. And that's it. That's how you replace, that's how you remove and install an alternator in the 2012 Honda Civic. Thanks for watching and subscribe.